Okay, raise your hand if you wait for the warning light on your car to go off before you do any maintenance. Absolutely. I have <laughs> how, mechanics for brothers and I still do. <laughs> All right, well, we're not alone. You're not alone. Here's auto expert Courtney Hansen with a few easy tips to catch car problems before they become a problem. A new survey by Toyo Tires tells us that when it comes to basic easy vehicle maintenance, more than 50% of women wait for that warning light um, or alert to come on before taking action instead of proactively checking their vehicle on a day-to-day -day basis. And I'm here to tell you that you should not wait for the warning light to come on. And I have some quick and easy tips that will help you to stay safer on the roads and also save you some money. So um, many vehicles have built-in tire pressure monitoring devices, but that technology was not meant to take the place of doing the regular um, checks ourselves. And I recommend um, doing um, a, a tire pressure check at least once a month. Now to find the correct PSI for your vehicle, um, open the driver's door and it can be found there on the placard on the B pillar. You can also find it in the owner's manual. You do not want to go by the number that you find on the, on the side of the tire because that's the maximum pressure that your tire can withstand. And then you want to make sure that you're checking the tire pressure in the morning when the tires are cold before the car has been driven because that will give you the best reading and to do it you take a tire pressure gauge and you put it firmly on the valve stem you'll get a reading if it shows that you're low on air you definitely want to add some air ASAP um, under inflated tires are not only a, sa a safety hazard but you also won't get as good of fuel economy and that's going to cost you money now to check the voltage on a battery, you need a special tool for that. But to check the health of a battery, you can do that with a, a basic visual inspection. So just pop the hood or locate wherever your battery is on your vehicle and take a look for any cracks or corrosion or any swelling of the battery. Those things signify that it probably needs to be replaced and you should definitely have the battery looked at before you're driving anymore because you don't want to end up on the side of the road somewhere. And then good visibility is obviously important for safe driving, so you always want to make sure that your windshield is completely clean. Um, and you don't need an indicator light or a mechanic to tell you that you're low on washer fluid. Just pop the hood and look at the washer fluid reservoir. It's normally clear, you could see straight through it. If you notice that the, the level is uh, lower than 50%, you wanna add some washer fluid. These are just some easy and quick tips that anybody can do and they will help to keep you safer on the roads and also save you money. And uh, for more information, you can visit toyotires.com.